HW Steel here. I'm going to do another video really quickly that uh, explains hopefully a little bit better the method to use in MetaTrader 4 to scale the background chart to a uh, square, which is just one unit of something, one unit of time equals one unit of price. And this is a Euro US dollar four hour chart. And what we want to do is scale it to a factor of one to one so that one hour is the same distance on the chart as one pip. So the, basically the way you have to do that is you have to decide on a zoom factor and I, very frequently I either use whoop, wrong way, either use four candles per background grid. If you notice the background grid here, there's one, two, three, four candles in each square at this current zoom factor. I either use the four or sometimes I use eight candles per background grid. But we'll go ahead and use the four as our example here and <coughs> excuse me um, we have the four candles per background grid and each candle represents four hours so if we bring the calculator up here four candles times four hours for each candles means that each background square has 16 um, hours of time so we need to make each candle or each background square represent 16 pips in the height of it to be a square chart and all you have to do to be able to do that is count how many squares you have from the bottom of your chart to the top of your chart and everybody's going to have a different number of squares in the back of their chart because not everybody's chart is going to be the same size so if you just count like for instance one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen we see that in this particular instance in this example I have 18 background grid squares as the height of my chart and since um, each square represents 16 pips and I have 18 of them I simply have to multiply the 16 pips by the 18 squares to get 288 pips so what that means is from the bottom of my chart to the top of my chart there has to be a range of 288 pips and actually that's what I have it set at right now but the way to do that is simply to right click on the chart go to properties go to the common tab right here the common tab click on scale fix because when it's not checked obviously the chart automatically sets its scale so all the price fits into the chart but we don't want that we want it set to a specific scale we want it to stay at that scale so we right click go to properties click on the top commons tab click on scale fix and then whatever value we have for the bottom, in this instance I'll use 1.2800 as our bottom value. In this instance, because we have need 288 pips from the bottom of this chart to the top of the chart to be scaled one to one, I have to add 288 pips to this number right here. And that will bring us to 1.3088. When you click OK, then your chart will be scaled one to one. So that means that one hour covers the same distance on the chart as one pip does and that is a squared chart so if you draw a 45 degree angle on this chart anywhere along that 45 degree angle the same amount of time and price is going to occur I hope that helps and makes it a little bit clearer I'll do one more example really quickly um, let's say that the chart is actually this size right here and <coughs> we're using the zoom factor of eight candles per square right here. So what we need to do is we know that we have eight candles per square and we know that each candle represents four hours. So we have to multiply um, four hours per candle times eight candles per square and we get 32 pips, or I'm sorry, 32 hours of time per background grid square right there. And the next thing we need to do is count how many boxes we have in our background. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, almost 16. So what we need to do is I'm going to pull the chart down just a little bit more. And that's, that's almost exactly 16 squares right there. So now we have 16 squares. And each one of these squares has to be 32 pips high. So we multiply the 32 pips by our 16 squares, and we get 512 pips. That means that from the bottom of the chart to the top of the chart, 
we need there to be a difference of 512 pips. So we go to properties, click on scale fix, click on our mac our minimum, and we'll do 1.2800 again. And then we have to add our 512 pip difference to the top right here, which gives us 1.3312. That's 512 pips higher. Click OK, and then this chart right here is now scaled 1 to 1. So that one hour of time covers the same amount of distance on this chart as one pip of price. And as you can see, um, <coughs> it. Um, Sorry about that. As you can see, the price is, you know, the scale is staying the same as you scroll it wherever you want to because you have the uh, uh, scale fix selected, and that's important. You got to remember to keep the scale the same whenever you're um, using geometry with degrees on the chart. There are some instances where you can actually use geometry on the chart, and you don't have to have it scaled, but I'm not going to go into that detail now. I recommend always scaling your charts so that you become familiar with the price structure at that particular scale and then stick with one or two of them and use them and you'll become more and more familiar with how the market looks and acts and what is in quotes normal and what seems to be abnormal but hopefully this will give you enough information you'll be able to accurately square your charts on the uh, MT4 platform and that'll be all for this video